Now suppose that you want to display the this chatbot and the this online words side by side with this uh, image. How what how how can you do that? Then uh, what you need to do it in order to accomplish this is that you need to use the float. So here, as you can see, we have this image. You can give this image a style of float lift. If you say here float lift, and then if you say if you say here, if you give this div, if you say style float lift, lift. Now, if I save and refresh, you'll find that the image and this part uh, are being displayed side by side. And you can even increase the margin, uh, the, the margin top of this, of this uh, uh, chatbot. So here, if you say 15, it's going to look even better. So let me here refresh. As you can see now, it looks better. You can decrease the, uh, you can increase only the margin uh, top. So if you say here, margin, let me say margin top, here margin 15, and the margin top, margin top 10, um, here margin top, let me say uh, 15, the margin top is 15, but the margins, all other margins are going to be uh, 10. Now let me save and refresh. That's going to look even better. So you can play around with this, but for now, I think it looks amazing. Now what we need to do is that we need to display the uh, the box here. You can now we need to display the box here. And uh, before I do uh, before I do so, you can um, increase the height of this part. So here, if you say if you say here uh, a height, if you say here height, and then 100 px. Let me save and refresh. Now it's going to look better, as you can see. This is the height. You can increase it even further. If you say three, 400, for example, just to show you that it's going to work, as you can see. Of course, we don't want it to be 400. We just want it to be, I think, 100, uh, 100 is enough. So if you say 100, it's going to look amazing. Now let's work on the part here, the, the box that's going to contain the conversation between me and the chatbot. So I'm going to head on over to the project and then here in the project what I'm going to do is that first I'm going to add these close to one another because we don't want to get confused. Here this this belongs to, this dev belongs to this and this dev belongs to this. So inside the container we are still inside the container here inside the container here I'm going to work on the uh, the 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 chat messages. So I'm going to create a dev here. I'm going to create a dev. And for this dev, first of all, I'm going to give it a class. I'm going to say here class. And that class is going to also be container. I'm going to, I'm still going to use the container class given by Bootstrap. And uh, I'm going to give it also border. I'm going to say border. And overflow, overflow, auto. And I'm going to give it a height. This is very important. It's very important to give it a height here. Here, I'm gonna say style height because if you don't give it a height, it's just gonna it's not gonna be displayed. Uh, the height is gonna be all zero, so it's not gonna uh, work. So we need to say something like 300. Let's say 300, and uh, let me also give it an ID. Let me here say ID. The ID is very very important, and you will know the importance later. But for now, you need to give it the, this ID. So I'm going to give it an ID of chat container. Container. Let me now save and let's head over to the browser. Now in the browser, if I refresh, as you can see, there is this block. As you can see, this block being displayed here. This block is going to represent the area where the, converse, the conversation between me the, and the chatbot will be displayed here. So any message I send to the chatbot will be displayed here. And any message the chatbot uh, sends to me will be displayed here as well. Finally here, here finally we need to display the, uh, the input that's going to let me type a message and also a button to send that message. So here, what I'm going to do is that, here what I'm going to do, is that I'm going to create? Uh, I'm going to create another dev that's going to do that. So here, let me be uh, below this. I'm going to create a dev, and then I'm going to give this dev a class. Class, 
And that class is going to be input group, input group, because we want to group this together. The image, the uh, we want to group the, together the input and the button. So the, therefore, I'm going to use input group. And then I'm going to here say input. I'm going to create an input. And this input is going to have first, first is going to have a type. The type is going to be text because we want to type text, a, a text. And the class is going to be form, form control, form control, which is a bootstrap class. Control. Finally, I'm going to give this input an ID. I'm going to say ID. And the ID is going to be text box. Again, the ID here is very important. Text box because I'm going to be using this uh, ID later to make reference to this and use this input to get the text from this input. Next, we want to display the button. So for the button, I'm going to say dev. And then I'm going to give it the following class. I'm going to say here class. And the class is going to be in input group append because we want to append again we want to append the uh, uh, image uh, with the input so the the will be displayed side by side next I'm going to display the button so inside this div I'm going to say button and for this button for this button I'm going to say first type the type is going to be button And I'm going to give it also a class. I'm going to say class. The class is going to be BTN, which is a boot, bootstrap class. BTN primary, which is primary, which is going to make this class look amazing. It's going to give it. It's going to give this class a, a blue background color. Finally, I'm going to say here send. This button is going to say send to send the message. And uh, I'm going to also give it an ID. So I'm going to say ID. And the ID is going to be send button. Send BTN. So again, the ID is very, very important, and you will know the importance of this later. But for now, we have this input and we have this button. Let me save, and let's head on over to the browser to test. So in the browser now, if I refresh, as you can see, I'm going to get here an input and a button. So the button is going to be used to send the text that I will be able to type here, as you can see. So the user interface now is complete, and uh, we have here the this area, the upper area, where it displays the information about the person that that's that I'm going uh, that I'm talking to which is obviously a chatbot it's not a real person of course and then an area where it's going to display the messages between me and that chatbot and finally an input and a button